by far what's most different with this new image is the increased resolution that NearCam has over what we had released previously with the, the, the Miri image. This is basically the clearest look we've ever had at a young exploded star. NearCam has this breathtaking resolution and it's able to map the exploded debris with um, clarity unlike any other. So uh, if you can think about if anybody's wearing glasses out there, the first time that you put on a set of glasses, it's kind of a dramatic revelation. Like, oh my gosh, the world looks like this? <laughs> this star shattered. It goes into, kind of imagine like a windshield shattering into millions of little pieces. That's what we see here. Now this was hinted at with previous um, Hubble Space Telescope images, which are of high resolution, but here we've never been able to trace it in the infrared with this clarity. And in fact, with, with, with some of the filters, the resolution in web uh, is, is ahead of what uh, is possible with Hubble Space Telescope. And if I zoom in just a little bit more, just appreciate <laughs> the level of, of detail that we can unpack. And that's going to take years for us to be, to be able to fully understand. One of the unexpected discoveries from this beautiful near cam image was this light echo. That means light from the original supernova that didn't take a straight beeline route to us from the star bounced off in a different direction, heating gas in uh, some other uh, location. And then that gas, when it gets heated, it re-radiates into wavelengths that the near cam images are sensitive to. This really blew our mind. We've never seen interstellar gas like this before because we never had a telescope like this before.